Hi, this is Seth from Arts Garage. Uh, today I sat down with Philippe Lim from the Philippe Lim Trio. They're a wonderful jazz trio from New York City. Uh, they're going to be performing at Arts Garage on Sunday, uh, February 27th at 7 p.m. So please get your tickets. There's a link right below this, uh, this video. Um, it was great to talk to Philippe and we got some insight about his new record called First Steps and some of the inspirations that he had. Uh, in creating the new album. Uh, we talked about some of his travels. He's been on tour for the past few weeks, and uh, his last show is actually going to be here in Del Rey. Um, and we finished out the interview with his favorite uh, before show or after show spot to get some food. Uh, so don't miss this uh, wonderful conversation with Philippe Lim, and uh, we'll see you on Sunday. And you got it. Yeah. Recording. All right. Well, Philippe, thanks so much for being here. Uh, this is the first of our series of interviews at Arts Garage, and I'm really looking forward to talking with you today, Philippe. Where are you right now? All right, thanks for having me. Yeah. Uh, I'm in Amsterdam right now. We are uh, uh, in the middle of our European tour, three weeks, um, and we just did a workshop today, actually, at the conservatory at Tilburg, in the south. Uh, so this is uh, evening here now, and we're, uh, we're finished for the day. Um, yeah, but we're in the middle of the tour. Yeah, so cool. How long have you guys been on the road so far? So far, we've been on the road for two weeks. Uh, played in Germany, uh, in Belgium, and a whole string of concerts in the Netherlands. And we have one more week to go in Europe. And then uh, we go back to New York for a couple of days. And then uh, we fly down to Florida to join yeah. you guys. We can't wait to, uh, for your performance on February 27th, Sunday, February 27th at 7 p.m. It's gonna be so much fun. Um, and I wanted to take the, this opportunity to ask you about um, your new album, First Steps. Yeah. I've been I've listening, listening to, it to it all weekend, weekend. and uh, I, I'm really looking forward to hearing it live for once, but uh, if you could just elaborate on the new album and kind of give us a background on, on your, uh, your uh, creation process on that. Absolutely. So it's a piano trio, so upright bass, piano and drums. And, and uh, well, the title First Steps is twofold. The first side is that during the pandemic, during the last two and a half years, um, I realized that I constantly need to make first steps in all. Um, so it was really a realization, like if I don't do anything, nothing happens, which is both, uh, yeah, it's, there's some uh, sad part about that because <laughs> it would be nice if some things happen automatically, <laughs> but it was also liberating because you realize that by taking those first steps, you, uh, yeah, you kind of create some sort of freedom for yourself to, uh, um, Bring, bring it into reality, to breathe life into it. So that's one side, um, taking first steps. And the other part is more literal. Like I draw a lot of in, uh, um, inspiration from dances. Uh, as you can hear on the album, uh, I used to be a dancer before I played the drums. So first steps are also um, part of my dance, my background as a dancer. And we... This is, by, this is a third record from the trio, uh, recorded in Power Sound Studios in Amsterdam. And I, this is by far our best record, I think, compositionally and playing wise. And uh, yeah, we're extremely, uh, extremely proud of it. Yeah, it's a truly incredible album. And it's nice to hear that background. And um, like, I've been a big fan of y'all's for a long time. So like, just the amount of thought you put into each project is, is, uh, is great. I feel like uh, you're exceptional at that. So um, I wanted to just talk a little bit about the song titles. Uh, if there's, uh, I was trying to, you know, figure out where they were coming from here, like the um, Trinket, Dorf, yeah. all those, what, what are those titles uh, referenced to? So, um, Trinket of Dork is a Briz uh, Brazilian, it's a Bulgarian folk tune. Okay. Um, in 11, coming from a dance, uh, the dance is called the Kopanitsa, and it's sang by this Bulgarian women choir called Le Mystère Voix de Bulgare, the mystery of the Bulgarian voices. 
and it's unbelievably beautiful. And we decided to make like a piano trio arrangement, uh, you know, for this for this setting. And but we're not singing, so um, it's just instrumental. But yeah, I think I have one of my favorite songs to play live. It's very energetic. There's a lot of stuff happening. And uh, yeah, you hear a lot of this Bulgarian influences back in the arrangement. Yeah, so so cool. Um, uh, let's see. Um, so let's see. My next thought would be: uh, so when you're, uh, what are some highlights of your tour so far? I know we you spoke briefly about you know where you are and everything, but uh, what have your experiences been so far with the yeah. new, this new album? Well, uh, the record is getting getting a lot of good critiques, uh, both from uh, from written press as uh, as from the audience. I think it's a very nice balance that we are we managed to find between um, having accessible melodies, accessible forms and rhythms, uh, but also have a lot of stuff happening underneath it. Right, the structures are uh, are are complex. Uh, there's a lot of small details that are happening inside the music that are interesting for, uh, for the, the musicians, for the insiders, uh, because it's important for me that the general audience will get something out of this music, not just music students or hardcore jazz insiders. Mm -hmm. um, the highlights of the tour, well, we did some really beautiful stages. We played at Unterfart in Munich, uh, at the Bim House in Amsterdam, uh, at Musikgebouw Eindhoven. And we're going to play um, as well at Lantaren Fenster, which is the premier venue in Rotterdam, um, as well as Tivoli Vredeburg, the premier venue in Utrecht. Um, and it's really great to see that a lot of the, the concerts have been selling out actually during this wow. tour, which, um, which is great to see that there is a lot of res good reception for this. Yeah, that's awesome uh, and very cool. Uh, it sounds like a lot of fun. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we're, we're really excited <laughs> having you at Arts Garage. This will be your third time here. I believe you played yes. last year and the year before. Right. I think we just skipped a year, one year during the pandemic. Okay, um, gotcha. We yeah. keep getting invited back by these venues in yeah. Orlando and in Jacksonville and in Gainesville. Yeah. And um, yeah, I was chatting with Marshall like would be great to do another another date and uh yeah. yeah i love the stage i love everything that the arts garage is presenting and so it's really cool that we can come back there yeah it's gonna be, gonna be great um i just have a couple more questions i'm sure you're super busy on the road um and <laughs> this is a funny question but what's your favorite place <laughs> while you're here in delray putting you on the spot what's my favorite place to do what uh, to eat while you're in Delray. Do you have a spot that you go to each year? To eat? Oh, okay. Yes. So I, um, it depends a bit on the time because sometimes we're driving from far and it depends on uh, if we do it in one go. But I remember the last time uh, we went to this, uh, I think it's sort of a gym actually, like a gym across the street from the arts garage. And yeah. We'll have like some healthy, healthy, sort of a sweet greens type place. Okay. Uh, yeah. Um, hey, but um, if anyone is watching this that lives in Delray and has some recommendations, please let me know because you know how it is. We, had, we arrive at the venue, we drop off the instruments, we have a, a half an hour to quickly eat something before we sound check, so we can't go that far. But the last time we went also to this Mexican place that was really nice, actually. Close by, I forgot the name. Yes. But we had uh, uh, some friends coming over. El Camo. To the concert and after the show, we went El Camino. to a big big table yeah yeah so good yeah that's one of my yeah favorites. yeah very cool um well thank you <laughs> thank you so much philippe um we're really looking forward of course. to here at the arts garage on uh sunday february 27th at 7 p.m it's going to be an amazing show uh the trio is you know some yeah musicians in the world so um check out his album as well first steps which is on all platforms youtube spotify apple music everything or just or buy the album when he's here. And thank you so much, Philippe, for sharing all of your words. Yeah, exactly.